eventually you'll get there. You know if I had any cash, I'd give it to you. I know how important it is for you to get scouted this year. Uh, if I don't improve, there's no way I'm getting into a Division One school next year, which means my career as a competitive athlete is over. So what do we do? Get a job, I guess. Then what about training? Well, I can sleep when I'm dead, or after I get a track scholarship. No faster, huh? My whole future is resting on tenths of a second. I need to figure out a way to pay for those supplements. What about the cash you got from the training shift? Not nearly enough. I need to be able to keep affording them. What? Lola gave Sa the job. I heard them talking this morning. Seriously? Shay, I've been waiting in the car for 15 minutes. Sorry, Mom. Hi, Miss Powers. How was work? Long. This kid swallowed a battery. It came out, thank God, without too much damage to his insides. <laughs> Sweet. I'll see you tomorrow. I thought this was a friend's thing. It was until Esme was Esme. But it'll be nice to do something together before school ends. Yeah, now that track's over, I can actually have some free time. Or well, when I'm not studying for exams or staring at my phone waiting to hear from scouts. Ah, uh, they'll call. So, is that a yes? Well, I'll have to ask my parents first. Can't wait. What can you wait for? Uh, he invited me to go on his grad camping trip this weekend. And you said yes, I had no idea you were ready. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something. You, tiny, alone, in a tent. Why are we alone? I thought everyone would be sharing tents. Oh, Shay. Sweet young Shay. We're the same age. This isn't family camping. This is grown-up camping with grown-up activities. What? Sex? No. <laughs> don't you want to? Yes. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, school's almost over and he's graduating. Yes. Okay. Thank you. I get it. Whatever. It's not like my parents are going to let me go anyway. Well, if you tell them that all you'll be doing is playing tennis. Hey, Mom. How's your day? Yeah, mine was good. Did she even ask about camping yet? I'm on my way home now. Need anything for dessert? I think she's chicken out. Yes. Wait. What do you mean getting ready for camping? How did you know? You talk to Tiny? Yeah, no, I know he's a very responsible young man, but... Okay, wait. So I can go. <laughs> but Tiny and I, I mean, probably be sleeping in the same tent. Alone, just two of us. <laughs> so just to be clear, you're letting me go camping overnight with my boyfriend. Okay then. Love you too. You're going camping! We're going camping. Oh, even better. No, 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 no. I just told Esme I can't go. I'm traveling Pali Paradise. Nice surprise. You have to come. You're the only one of us who can drive. Well, didn't Tiny rent a van? There's not enough room for all of us. And besides, I need you guys there. Hey, do you really want to take advice from a girl in a weird three-way? Uh, says the girl who won't even tell us who she lost her virginity to. Fine. Is Miles. Happy? <laughs> oh, my God. Can you imagine? <laughs> Bar. <laughs> okay, so besides putting you guys between us in the tent... What do I do? Well, you can always talk to Tiny, and if you're ready, you'll know. Fine. But I still need to drive. Ugh. Fine. You owe me so hard. Road trip! <laughs> you like to party? Nah. She'll be here soon. I don't want to be all messed up for my girl. Hey, they're here. Woohoo! I'm so glad you're here. You can put your stuff in my tent. Oh, I'm going to bed. These mosquitoes are the worst. Yeah, that's true. What? The mosquitoes are okay, bad. Okay, uh, did you bring a tent? You could sleep with me and Tiny. Uh, I'm going in the car. You think a piece of nylon is going to save me from a bear eating my face off? Oh, there are no bears. But coyotes, on the other hand. Okay, good night. <laughs> the coyote population isn't that big, if that makes you feel any better. You want to go to bed, too? Ah, uh, but it's so nice though. Hi. <laughs> nice. Come on. Tense bug free. Okay. Um, good night.
Don't you think we should talk first? About what? What you're not telling me. My friends think this is grown-up camping. Grown-up activities. The thought did cross my mind, but obviously only if you want to. I just don't know how to tell if I'm ready. You can always talk to me, you know. Ah, uh, you cut off my arm, please? <laughs> Let me see. Always come prepared. My friends think I need to give myself a chance to know if I'm ready. To know if I'm ready. I'm a little confused. <laughs> I guess I was just scared of how I'd feel when I was actually here with you. So? How do you feel? Ready. Dude, what the hell? I need help, Esme got stung. Come on. last night nothing like a fake medical emergency to spoil the mood because we should help with breakfast we could do that or seriously frankie's a terrible cook she'll bring the bacon Post-sex glow. How was it? Amazing, mind-blowing, even better. <laughs> All of the above. I don't know, like I feel different now, but kind of the same. Sex changes everything. See, he can't even leave you alone now for a millisecond. Day 43, the night we picnicked under the stars. <laughs> what are these? <laughs> the night we shared ice cream? They eat a lot of food. <laughs> Russia, you make every day one to remember. Will you help make prom day just as special? Aww. Just imagine how amazing your prom was gonna be. Mm, I don't know, is Tiny really the kind of guy who'd do something big like that? How do you think he'll do it? Maybe in science class? That's where we first talked. You're so lucky. I wish I had a senior boyfriend ask me to prom. Maybe he'll get like a little armadillo. That was our thing. <sighs> what? Winston once got you a goat. <laughs> You used to be so shy. Now look at you, waiting for your huge romantic spectacle. I guess you're right. Sex really does change everything. <laughs> you're here early? I, uh, needed to prep something. Oh, great. Um, that you're prepared. I mean... Hey. Oh. So what do you say? <laughs> I already bought our tickets, dummy. <laughs> I'm just really excited for them. So, that proposal you planned for Jordan and Grace was pretty cool. Sure, if you're into that. You're not? It's kind of ridiculous. I mean, it's just prom, not a winning proposal. 
Well, it's special for some people. The ones who got something to prove, but we don't need that. You don't think prom's a chance to celebrate with friends? We can do that whenever, without wasting hundreds of dollars. I guess you're right. I'm so happy that you're not one of those girls who freaks out about prom. Yeah, we can do our own thing that night. Yeah, sure. You can you can watch a movie at my place or whatever. Yeah, sure. Whatever works for you. So, did you do it yet? Do you have pictures? Oh, please tell me you get to keep the armadillo. I don't think we're going to prom. It's just really expensive. You're so excited. You know, I have to be fiscally responsible. <sighs> Look at you being all mature. Sex really does change everything. It's not like that. We're good. <clears throat> no, you're not. Excuse me? It's simple economics. Tiny got the milk for free, ergo, he doesn't need to buy the cow. What are you even saying? They had sex, right? Oh my god. So why would Tiny do a big proposal if he already got what he wants? It's not like that. Seriously, we're just gonna have a nice night in just the two of us. Like watching a movie? Yeah, but why are you saying it like that? Watching a movie is just code. He found a cheaper route to doing it than prom. Simple economics. Just because we slept together doesn't mean you can stop trying. What are you talking about? You do this whole special thing for Grace and Jonah, but now that we've done it, you can't be bothered to go out of your way for me? Okay, listen. No, I'm not like some cow, okay? And my milk is definitely not free. Hey, I'm trying to have a conversation here! Give me a second. I gotta do a thing. Go to prom with me. You're going to prom. Honey's gonna love you in this dress. It shows every curve. Which is exactly why he'll love it. What do you think, Hunter? I'll keep my opinion to myself. That's it. I'm gonna go change.